But uh, setting up the gameplay. You're gonna need a player and a player this side. You're gonna need a rack with 10 cups. Fill it up with whatever you drink you want to drink for the night, whether it be beer, uh, scotch, coke, juice, water, whatever you want. This is a rinse cup. Rinse cup is used to wash the ball if it falls on the floor. Simple. Other side, two players, rinse cup, 10 cups, what they're drinking. Let's play some beer pong. Okay, the simplest way to play beer pong is this. These two players, you have one shot per player. Mason have his shot, have a miss. Katie will have her shot, let's have a miss. Now this team's go. Kelsey will have her shot, cool. And then I would have my shot. If I got the ball in, this team would remove the cup that the ball landed in, consume the contents of the cup. The cup will then go out of play. This team now has nine cups, and I still have 10 cups. So I'm winning at the moment. Keep going like that until some team loses all their cups, thus making the other team the winners. Simple as that, guys. To make the game of beer pong a little bit more interesting, you can introduce some more complex rules, such as the bounce shot. Now, if Kelsey's got that ball in, we would have to be drinking two cups. The beauty of the bounce shot is, though, you're allowed to defend, like so. Ah. Hitting the ball away, obviously you don't have to drink the cups. If you're not concentrating, you're going to have to drink two. Alright guys, the bonus shot. The bonus shot is simple. It's when you get your shot in and your teammate gets their shot in. As a reward, you get one shot back for the team. That's the bonus shot. If both your team members get it in the same cup, that counts as three cups to drink. You also get your bonus shot. That gets in there, that counts as four cups to drink. And there it is, their turn. When the other team shoots and the ball happens to spin around the top of the cup, there's two things you can do. Females, they may blow the ball out. Now if the ball comes out, that's great that you don't have to drink the drink. Now guys, if the ball's spinning, you may use one finger, the one finger only, to scoop or try and scoop that ball out. If successful, good job, you don't have to drink the drink. If you happen to interfere with the spinning and the ball goes in, well, you just have to drink the cup. The redemption rule. The redemption rule is simple. If I'm on this side and have a shot and land that last cup, the game is not yet over. This team has what's called redemption. They get to shoot until they miss. So if Mason shoots and misses, game over. End of story, congratulations. Now if he had got that in, then his team member Katie now gets a shot. Katie has a shot and misses, game over. If she had got that in, then Mason would have a shot. Oh, he missed, so that would be game over. But if he had got that in, that would come to a sudden death situation where we'd have one cup here and one cup there. Same rules apply. This team would go first because this team's just had their shot. Um, if they get that in, redemption. If they miss, then this team will have a shot. If they miss, then that team will have a shot. It just goes back, same rules, same everything. You just have one cup each. Have fun. All right, guys, a lot of people ask us, where do I fill my cup up to? Um, the best indication is just up to that Australia line. It works out to be a good mouthful. Uh, start from there, um, it makes the games go a lot longer. You don't get so drunk. Alright guys, there's one more rule I want to talk to you about. It's called the rebound or the rollback rule. Now the rebound rule or the rollback rule is where you throw your ball, have your shot, and it bounces off the cup and starts rolling back towards you. If you pick that up, you can have your shot again. But if the other team stops it, obviously you don't get your shot. Uh, when the ball rolls off the tables on the ground, then it's out of bounds. Uh, so no shot will be taken. Uh, just remember all these rules uh, are all good fun. Uh, when you're having a game, just make sure everyone knows the rules and uh, yeah, have fun with it. If you're at a tournament, uh, something like that, just ask the tournament holder uh, what rules they're applying for the night and go from there. Have a good one. Alright guys, that was the basic rules of beer pop. Check us out at beerpongaustralia.com.au Like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching. You done? Cool. I'm getting a beer.